Being with us, the principal at Farmington Junior High asking parents for help this evening. The problem? Students are sharing inappropriate photos and images of a violent nature, but not through text messages. News specialist Lad Egan joins us to explain how kids are circumventing school restrictions. Lad? Farmington Junior High says it's investigating, trying to figure out who's sending the violent images and videos that are not appropriate for school. But it's hard to track down and something that parents not, might not be aware of because this isn't through messages, email, or social media. It's through Apple's AirDrop. When people change their identity and their iPhones, they can do whatever they want. And so the images that I've heard about are just horrific very violent and so kids don't need to see this adults don't need to see this airdrop is on iPhones and iPads with it students can instantly receive content from others who are within 30 feet and it can be sent anonymously Farmington Junior High's principal called parents asking for help saying they've had a rash of inappropriate images and videos going around the district says it's an issue they want to stop before it gets worse this is apparently a TikTok challenge in which people are asked to show something violent on their phone and get someone's reaction as they're watching it. And so these images are nothing but horrific violence. Would have never crossed my mind to talk to him about it. Parents said they were glad to get the warning from the principal. And my son hadn't said anything, so I came home and talked to him because I'm like, hey, did you hear about this today? Like, did anything come through to your phone? And luckily nothing did, but as a parent, I was like, okay, hey, let's make sure like your airdrop settings are turned off. The school district is asking parents to change the settings on their children's phones. Here's how to do that. On an Apple device, you can either turn airdrop receiving off or set it to contacts only. The more we can get this information out, the safer students and adults will be. And another option is to use the screen time parental controls to disable the airdrop app altogether. That way, the principal says, kids don't become the unwanted recipient of something they don't want to see. Back to you.